I, I had nothing but respect for the guy. He was a great guy. And you never felt um, that he had sort of um, any, like, bad feeling about being there, you know, like, that he detested working uh, such a, a low-level job or whatever. Hey guys, Credit Shuffle here, and this is sort of a bit of a chilled-out video for the weekend, and I'm putting this up. I wouldn't normally cover stuff like this, but I saw this story trending um, online. Now we have the ABC News exclusive with the Cosby Show star Jeffrey Owens. A photo of him working at a supermarket in New Jersey going viral online. Some appearing to job shame the actor. So many though coming to his defense. We're going to hear from him live in just a moment. He was a supporting actor. He wasn't in every episode, but he, you know, he was a quite well-known uh, figure in the show. He delivered very animated performances on stage. A lot of people really liked the character. And uh, recently this story blew up that he was working at Trader Joe's in New Jersey, okay? For some people, seeing someone who is on that show working in the local grocery store, however exalted grocery store that might be, mm -hmm. um, is kind of jarring. I kind of imagine, I, and I can understand, I imagine, go, imagine if I went into a store and saw Al Pacino working there. You know what I mean? It would right, be like, right, right. You know, now I'd be sensitive and nice about it, I would, you know, but, but it would be kind of shocking. And I think yeah. that's what it's kind of like for some people. It's like, it just doesn't make sense. Um, and I actually used to work at that same store and I worked with him. So there's a little bit of a connection here which is why I'm gonna cover it uh, in this video because I don't normally cover gossip stuff like this, all right? Um, so basically the story is that he, um, it, you know, he was in the Crosby show which he pointed out ended about, I think it was 26 years ago now or something, okay? And he wasn't a supporting actor and after the Crosby show, most of the stuff he did um, he didn't really make it big in TV and film again after that. He did a lot of theater stuff, which is lower pay. Um, he did, you know, a lot of extra work and that kind of stuff. Uh, and so, you know, I think it was last year, must have been, yeah, it was 2017. I'd, I'd already worked there since the beginning of 2017. Uh, and I was working there while I was building up my Credit Shifu YouTube channel. You know, people sometimes ask me what my job is. Actually, I do this full time now. But um, when you're building a business, you need a, a secondary job, right? I was in the same boat as him, actually. You know, he was trying to do acting. Uh, he was still, you know, taking acting jobs, but it wasn't stable. So he needed a job at Trader Joe's. Uh, well, he needed a job and he chose Trader Joe's. I was the same thing. I was building Credit Shufu and my company and everything, and it wasn't stable, so I needed an income. I worked at Trader Joe's about 20 to 25 hours a week. Um, and so, yeah, in about, I guess it was the spring of 2017, uh, he showed up at Trader Joe's. Very nice guy, and um, people told me, oh, he's actually an actor. He was on The Cosby Show, right? And I'm from the UK, so The Cosby Show was not such a big thing in the UK, uh, and it was, like, done when I was, you know, it was first broadcast when I was, like, one, one year old or something. So it was a little bit before my time, uh, but I was intrigued, you know? So I talked to him, and I asked him, hey, you know, like, what's, I hear you're an actor and stuff, right? And he, he, he wasn't you know, offended at me asking or anything like that. And he told me a little bit about what he was doing. He'd done a lot of theater and stuff. He'd done the Cosby show many years ago. And right now he was just doing extra jobs and stuff. And he was, you know, he was like, he gave me the impression he was like a struggling actor, you know, it was like tough uh, to get work these days, you know? And he, his main objective right now was really supporting his family. You know, I guess when you're a single person and you can go to like loads of auditions every day, uh, you're much more likely to get a job. Um, but he's, you know, he's a family man, he's taking care of his kids, taking care of his wife, and he just wanted something stable, um, and so he came and got a job at Trader Joe's. And um, I, I had nothing but respect for the guy, he was a great guy, and you never felt um, that he had sort of um, any, like, any bad feeling about being there, you know, like that he detested working uh, such a low-level job or whatever. Um, and, you know, he, he's been on the news, right? He was talking about this topic, you know, saying like, you know, a lot of people, they've tried to make a story out of it. People made a meme out of him. Like, I, I saw him uh, on Instagram. The photo of him was trending, you know, and uh, he was also, it was also reported on by the Daily Mail in the UK, which is just such a trashy newspaper. I'm sorry, like, if anyone's a Daily Mail reader, but just the Daily Mail is like, it pretends to be a broadsheet with the kind of gothic font at the top, but it is a tabloid. It is one of the lowest of the low, right? It's such a trashy uh, newspaper. And they reported on it as if it was like, oh, this guy's fallen from grace. And like, no, he was on a really popular show, I think 26 years ago. And then he's been doing mostly stage acting. And if you ask any actor, like literally their career can go up and down like this. And unless you've had a really huge gig, you know, like, the, the stars of Friends, for example, they each get a check for $20 million a year, but they were the, like the six 
main stars of the show. If you ask the sort of characters that occasionally appear on that show, um, they probably got nowhere near as much money. I saw one article where they're like, oh, shocking, uh, he works at Trader Joe's where employees earn as little as $11 an hour. I'm sorry, I was on $13 an hour at Trader Joe's, all right? And uh, they actually gave me a 60 cent pay rise after being there for six months, and they said they were gonna do that every six months. So it's really generous pay at Trader Joe's. And if Jeffrey started on 13, same as me, he's probably up to 1360, and he's probably actually up to like 1420 now. Um, so don't try to, you know, say that it's a low paid job because Trader Joe's, I recommend it to anyone. If you're looking for a supermarket job, a job that doesn't really require qualifications and you can just start earning some money and uh, it's, you know, the wages are fair, you're treated respectfully, um, it, it's a great place to work, it really is. Um, but anyway, with Jeffrey and you know, I, like, he was a great guy and I was actually in a sort of similar situation because, you know, people often ask me, what's my actual job, all right? People have left me comments on this channel saying, Credit Shift, what's your actual job, you know? Um, so when I first started Credit Shift, I was actually working full time at a TV company, New Tang Dynasty TV. A New Tang Dynasty TV is a Chinese American TV company. So they, most of the stuff they did was in Chinese language. Chinese language is my major in college, by the way. So I was hosting shows in Chinese and the audience for this was overseas, all right? It was in Taiwan mainly and in China. Um, but I became like quite a celebrity in Taiwan for, for a period of time. and. At that time, I guess probably still now, but especially a couple of years back, if I went to Taiwan on the street, like every 10 minutes someone would coming up to me asking to take a photo or sign something, autograph kind of thing. Um, but obviously here I'm not known by anyone, like, uh, well, except for my credit shifu stuff, which is far smaller. But our YouTube channel in Taiwan uh, right now has like 500,000 subscribers and Taiwan is only 23 million people anyway. So it's quite a big portion of that market. Uh, we were, I think at one point we were in the top 10 YouTube channels in Taiwan and, and I was voted at one time, uh, according to searches, not voted, according to data, the top third most searched online celebrity, okay? And you know, we had done sponsored videos by, you know, sponsored by 7-Eleven, etc. Um, loads of amazing stuff, right? Um, so I was, you know, I was pretty famous there. And when I decided I wanted to leave the company because I wanted to start my own business around online video, it was like I went right back down at the bottom, okay? And I left at the beginning of 2017 and I got a job at Trader Joe's because I needed money. I was just like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something to earn money, support the family because Credit Shifu and the other uh, online video stuff we work on doesn't bring in enough money yet. And so it's a very similar situation to what Jeffrey was doing and that, you know, he was a recognizable face. I remember working at Trader Joe's, sometimes people would come in and you'd be like, hey, my register's free, do you wanna come? And like, no, no, we're waiting in the line for this guy because we wanna see, you know, Jeffrey <laughs> from the Cosby show. We wanna get a selfie with him. Um, and uh, yeah, but my situation was kind of, kind of similar, you know, people would very, very occasionally, you'd get a Taiwanese person or something, you'd be like, hey, you're the guy from Lao Wai Kan Zhong Guo, you know, you're Hao Yi Bo, and my Chinese name and um, they would come over and take a picture with me. Or very occasionally, actually, you'd get someone uh, from, who was a Credit Shifu fan, right? A Credit Shifu viewer, who would come over and uh, they'd come to my register and then they'd pay with a certain credit card and be like, wait a minute, he's using the Amex Everyday card. That's uh, two points back at grocery stores. He knows about credit cards, right? Good choice. And then he looked up to me. I didn't say that to him, I was just thinking it, right? And then the guy looked at me and be like, wait a minute, do you do YouTube? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, you're the credit shifter, you know? And so I would occasionally get recognized too. And it's kind of awkward because they automatically, obviously doing the credit shifter on YouTube is nowhere near the same uh, level as being in a major TV show. But if you're someone on, on TV or on video online or whatever, they automatically assume that you're raking in the money, that you're earning a huge amount of money, right? Um, <laughs> and that's not always so. Or if you're in between jobs, uh, as an actor, it's super hard because you're not you're not full time, you're like freelance basically, it's contracts, so you can go up and down some months you earn like $10,000, $20,000, maybe and next month you earn zero and you, that money has to last you or you have to get another job. So it's like that. Um, and I just wanted to talk about this story because you know people, some people were nasty to him, you know, they, they kind of job, job shamed uh, Jeffrey and uh, <laughs> He, but he did say him and his wife got this huge amount of support from people. I want, I really want to thank everybody out there, family, friends, uh, Hollywood uh, community, and the general public for the incredible support, the amazing support and positivity that they've shown for me. 
And he also did a really nice interview where he's talking about, you know, a job should be respected no matter what kind of job it is, you know. If you're someone who does a hard day's work, um, you know, that should be respected, you know. So, you know, I thought that, that was a cool story to share. Um, for me, I worked at Trader Joe's in Clifton, New Jersey uh, for a whole year. So basically the whole of 2017, I worked there. And then at the end of 2017, things really started to pick up with Credit Shifu and um, I no longer really needed that job, um, so I left. I also went on vacation for like three weeks and it, it's, it was a bit long, you have to kind of leave and come back. But anyway, that was their policy if you're going away for such a long time. Um, so I just left and then I didn't reapply and uh, we've been doing okay financially since then with the stuff that we are running, you know, Credit Shufu, uh, Generation Tech, my other YouTube channel with Alan, uh, selling the wallets, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, we've been doing reasonably good, uh, so I haven't needed it. And he probably will have a period, uh, I mean, now that he's been on TV and had so much publicity, people, you know, other TV producers and stuff have been interested in him and uh, have wanted to give him jobs. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, guys, that was just like my take on it. Again, you know, Jeffrey Owens, great guy. I worked with him and uh, he was, you know, he was very respectful. He worked hard. He didn't feel that the job was below him at all. So it really is true what he said on the TV interviews about, you know, having a job, you know, you need to respect people who work, okay? And you know, sometimes if you want to make it to the top, you gotta, you gotta take it down a rung. You gotta, you know, for me, I was used to like doing TV work. I was used to fans coming up to me and like, like talking in front of 500 people in an auditorium, giving a, a speech or whatever. Uh, working with big brands like 7-Eleven. And because I wanted to start my own business and uh, you know, something that could definitely be like more beneficial to me in the future, I had to take it down a, a step two, you know, and do a job which, you know, the first time when I went for an interview there, I felt a little awkward, you know? Uh, and, I, and I had the same thing like thinking, oh, what if people recognize me here, you know, which people occasionally did. He must have had that like times 10, times 20, you know, because he was actually in the market uh, that his TV shows had played in. I was in a different country. So it wasn't as bad for me, but for him, you know, he, he was probably having every day, at least probably every hour, had one or two people recognize him and, and want to talk to him and take a selfie with him. So nothing but respect for the guy. He's a hardworking man, you know, and so am I. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's my little video for today, just a, bit of a casual video talking about this new story that has broke. Um, if you do want the Credit Shifu wallets, we've just updated the website, so we're selling, you know, all the usual wallets, the three colors, the travel wallet, $28, selling them in the description. It's Italian leather, very nice. Feel free to check it out. Please subscribe if you are new, and we will see you next time with more credit cards and personal finance tips and tricks. Bye-bye. <laughs>